Welcome to the spoken tutorial on using find, replace and autocorrect in writer. In this tutorial, we will learn to use find and replace, spell check and autocorrect features. This tutorial is recorded using Ubuntu Linux OS version 18.04 and LibreOffice Suite version 6.3.5. Let us start by learning to use the Find and Replace feature in Writer. With this feature, we can search for a particular text and or replace it in the entire document. Let us understand this through an example. Open the file resume.odt which we have created earlier. This file has been provided to you in the code files link on this tutorial page. Please download and extract the file. Make a copy and then use it for practicing. Before we proceed with the tutorial, let's first delete some unwanted pages which were created earlier. In our resume file, go to the fourth page. Select the lines. This is the fourth page by dragging the cursor along the text. Then press the backspace key twice. The fourth page is deleted and is no longer seen. Now repeat the same steps to delete the third page also. We have only two pages in this document now. Let's place the cursor on the first page of the document before the word resume. First. Let us learn how to find a word or text in the document. For an example, we will search for the word Ramesh in our writer document. At the bottom left, we can see the search bar. If it is not visible, then go to the view menu and select toolbars. From the sub menu, check the find option if unchecked. The search bar will become visible. Type Ramesh in the find field and press enter. The word Ramesh gets highlighted. Let's place the cursor before the word resume. Press Ctrl plus F keys to go directly to the find field. Now type name in the find field and press enter. This searches for the word name in the entire document. The first instance of the word name gets highlighted. Next to the find field, we can see find previous and find next icons. Click on these icons to find other occurrences of the word name in the document. To search name in the entire document, click on the find all option. Notice that all the instances of the word name gets highlighted in the entire document. To navigate between the pages while searching, use the previous page and next page icons. Now click anywhere in the document to deselect the highlighted word. Next let us learn about the find and replace option. By using this feature, we can easily replace the search word with a new one. Let's replace the word page on page 2. We can see the find and replace icon in the standard toolbar. Alternatively, click on the edit menu in the menu bar and then on the find and replace option. Either way, the find and replace dialog box opens up. In the find field, type the text that you wish to find and replace. By default, the earlier search word name is visible here. Delete the word name and type the word page in the find field. In the replace field, type the text that you want to replace with. I want to replace the word page with sheet in my document. So I will type sheet in the replace field. Now click on the replace all button. A message is displayed. Search key replace three times. And then 
click on the close button. On page 2, we see that all occurrences of the word page get replaced with sheet. Press Ctrl plus H keys to open the find and replace dialog box once again. In this dialog box, we can see the other options section. Click on the arrow icon before other options to expand this section if not visible. The other options section contains a list of specific find and replace options. A replace backwards option searches for the text from bottom to top. Current selection only searches for the text inside the selected portion of the document. It has other advanced options like regular expressions and similarity search. There are three more buttons at the bottom of the dialog box. They are attributes, format and no format. All of these provides us with various types of advanced find and replace options. You can explore and learn more about them on your own later. Click on the close button at bottom right corner to close this dialog box. After learning about find and replace, we will now learn how to use spell check. Spell check is used for checking spelling mistakes in a document. The spell check feature is distinct for each language. Click on the tools menu in the menu bar and then click on options. In the options dialog box, go to the left side section. Click on the arrow icon before the language settings to expand it. Now click on languages. In the field user interface, click on the drop down and select default English USA. In the local setting, click on the drop down and select English India if not already selected. Now go to the default languages for document section. In the western field, click on the drop down and select English India. Finally, click on the apply button at the bottom of the dialog box. And then click on the OK button. Let us now see how the spell check features work for the language English India. To use the spelling and grammar option, go to tools in the menu bar and confirm that the automatic spell checking options is checked. If not, then click on automatic spell checking to check it. Now keep the cursor next to the word housewife and press this space bar. Then type whose wife and press the space bar once. We see that a curly red line appears just below the incorrect word. We can also see the curly red lines below the names. This is because Indian names are not a part of the LibreOffice Writer inbuilt dictionary. Now place the cursor on the word whose wife. Then click on the check spelling icon in the standard toolbar. The spelling dialog box opens. Under not in dictionary, the incorrect word is highlighted in red color and the suggestions for correct words are shown in the suggestions box. In the suggestions box, first click on the word housewife, then click on the correct button. In some cases, a confirmation pop-up window may appear. It says, continue checking at the beginning of the document. Click on the no button. Now, click on the close button to close the spelling dialog box. We see that the correct spelling has now been replaced. Press Ctrl plus Z keys until the newly added word housewife gets deleted. Next, we will learn about the autocorrect feature. The autocorrect feature is an extension of spell check. Let me demonstrate how to use the autocorrect feature. Go to the tools menu and select autocorrect. From the submenu, select the autocorrect options. The autocorrect dialog box opens. The autocorrect feature automatically corrects the text as we type. The corrections are made according to the option we select 
in the options tab there are several auto correct options here like delete spaces and tabs at beginning and end of paragraph ignore double spaces close the auto correct dialog box by clicking on the x icon let us see how this works through an example in our resume file move the cursor below the word hobbies and press enter twice now type this is the spoken tutorial project with single double and triple spaces between words go to the tools menu and select auto correct from the sub menu select the auto correct options under the option tab put a check on ignore double spaces and click on the okay button at bottom right corner in the new line type this is the spoken tutorial project with double and triple spaces between words i will type this is the and press the space bar twice notice that writer does not allow us to add double or more spaces complete typing the sentence auto correct feature can also be used to replace long text with an abbreviation it saves typing effort by creating shortcuts to long words we have used a few words repeatedly in our document with shortcuts we can avoid typing these words again and again keep the cursor next to the word project and press enter now type this is the spoken tutorial project repeatedly in our document say two times to avoid repeated typing we can create an abbreviation this will directly get converted into the required text now i will demonstrate how abbreviation stp converts to spoken tutorial project go to the tools menu and select auto correct from the sub menu select the auto correct options auto correct dialog box opens up click on the replace tab under replacement and exceptions for language select english india from the drop down list type stp in the replace field in the with field type spoken tutorial project then click on the new button on the right we see that the entry is made in the replacement table click on the okay button at the bottom right now type the text this is the stp in a new line and press the space bar immediately the stp abbreviation gets converted to the words spoken tutorial project this feature is very helpful when the same text is repeated several times in a document save the changes and close the file this brings us to the end of this spoken tutorial let us summarize in this tutorial we learned how to use find and replace spell check and auto correct features as an assignment type the following text in a new writer document now find and replace the word document in your text with the word file replace the word text with txt use the spell check feature to correct the spelling to text use english india as your default language create an abbreviation for the text this is libre office writer as tlw the video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project please download and watch it we conduct workshops using spoken tutorials and give certificates for more details please contact us please post your timed queries in this forum the spoken tutorial project is funded by mhrd government of india this tutorial was originally contributed by desi kri solution private limited in 2011 this is pratik kamle along with the spoken tutorial team from iit bombay signing off thank you for watching